Hello there world! It's your girl again and welcome back to my channel. For today, ang pag-uusapan natin is about command line interface and why it's very important to learn as web developer. So, ano nga ba si command line interface? I'm sure may mga nakagamit na naman ito, pero kung meron pang hindi nakakaalam, ito yung definition from W3 Schools. A command line program that accepts input to execute operating system functions. Ayan, so parang mas lalo tayong nahirapan, no? <laughs> pero actually, ito lang yon. Okay, so I'm sure familiar naman lahat. By default, meron tayong mga command line interface sa uh, different operating systems. Kay Windows, we have Command Prompt. Kay Mac, we have Terminal. Kay Linux, we have Bash. And there's a lot more alternatives. Dito kay Mac, ang favorite kong ginagamit is iTerm2. Uh, ito yung improved version of Terminal. Mas gusto ko to kasi mas customizable siya compared kay Terminal. Uh, mas marami siyang shortcuts. Also, pwede mong i-save yung session mo dito. Uh, I'm not sure kay Terminal kung pwede yung saving ng session. but uh, Pero dito kasi kay iTerm2, by default meron na siya. Kay Windows, may mga alternatives din like si Commander, Hyperterminal, uh, Gitbash, Patty, and etc. Si Hyperterminal, pwede mo rin siyang gamitin kay Mac. Kay Linux, madami. May mga terminal emulators na pwede mong i-install sa Linux like uh, Xterm, Terminator, Console, Gwig, and so on. So, search nyo lang yung terminal emulator for Linux. Based from my experience, mas nagamit ko yung Linux or Bash command. So, ito na rin yung mas inaaral ko. Uh, kasi most of the time, lahat ng mga websites na hinohost namin, uh, mostly nakahost sila sa Ubuntu. So, focus tayo dito. Actually, hindi ako masyadong familiar sa Windows commands. Mas talagang na-familiarize ako sa Bash commands. So, yun. So, bukod sa lahat ng websites namin, mga nakahost sa Linux environment, Yung mga machines ko before, talagang ang gamit namin is uh, Unix-based. So, Mac OS or Linux. Currently, ang gamit namin sa office is Windows machine. Pero, ang gamit ko pa rin is Git Bash. So, allowed pa rin yung Bash commands. So, let's talk about some more technical here para mas ma-inspire kayo na aralin to. Okay. So, ano ba si Bash? Si Beshi. <laughs> Bash stands for Born Again Shell. It was named after Stephen Bourne. Siya yung, si Stephen Bourne, siya yung creator ng Bourne Shell. Si Bash kasi, it's, it's the newer version of Bourne Shell. So, si Bourne Shell, with the notion of being born again, is now Born Again Shell, or the Bash. Okay, by definition, Bash is a command line interface for Unix-like environments. So, ano-an ba yung mga Unix-like environments? You have Mac OS, you have Linux, Android, iOS, etc. So, to understand the Bash shell, kailangan muna nating maintindihan ano ba yung shell. So, usually ang ginagamit dito na metaphor or analogy is um, walnut. Pero in our video, let's use coconut. <laughs> okay? Think about this coconut as your operating system. Si Coconut, meron siyang shell, yung matigas na part dito. Meron din siyang yung inner flesh, or yung kinakain natin. In computing, yung shell is the shell itself, and yung inner flesh is the kernel. Yung shell, it's, uh, it's the user interface. So, ikaw si user, you talk to the shell. Si shell ngayon talks to the kernel. Ngayon, si kernel naman is a program that interfaces with the hardware. So, sinasabi naman niya ni kernel dun sa hardware kung ano ang gustong gawin ni user. Okay, so sabi ko, si shell is the user interface. So, ito yung ginagamit ni user to interact with the computer. And we have two variants of shell. We have graphical user interface and command line interface. When you access your Finder or your File Explorer, siya yung graphical user interface. When you access your Terminal or your Bash or your Command Prompt, yun yung command line interface. So, in short, yung command line interface mo is just one variant of 
a shell. And bash is just one type of a shell. So, if someone will ask you, ano bang shell ang gamit mo? Ang pwede mong isagot, it's either bash or zsh or sh or csh or ksh. Ano ba yung pinagsasasabi ko? <laughs> so, itong mga acronym na yun, okay? Those are types of shell that you can use in Unix other than bash. So, csh is the born shell. The csh is the C shell. KSH is the corn shell. And ZSH is the Z shell. Dito sa terminal ko, ang gamit ko is the Z shell. Which is the improved version of bash naman. Okay, so hopefully, mas naging malinaw sa inyo yung kung ano yung bash, kung ano yung shell. So let's move on to the reasons why you have to learn uh, command line interface as early as now. The number one reason is it increases productivity. There's actually a lot of reasons why it's very important to learn command line interface, but these are just the top reasons. Number one, it increases productivity. There's a lot of shortcuts. It saves you time from opening the applications and it saves you from a lot of mouse clicks. For example, dito kay Mac, magkakreate ka lang ng isang text file. Andan mo nang kailangan gawin na steps. Dito sa CLI, ganyan lang. Saglit lang siya. Second reason is that there's greater control and visibility of your system files. So, kung hindi nyo alam, meron tayong mga system files na hidden files. Sa, hindi natin makikita sa finder natin or sa file explorer natin. Pero, if you use the command line interface, uh, simple command like lsla lang, makikita mo yung mga hidden files. Those are the files or folders that starts with a dot. So, kapag yung mga ganong files, hidden yun, um, you have good, greater visibility of your system files. Third reason is that it's very critical for fixing an issue or analyzing your system. There are some commands that you can use for debugging, such as... Um, for example, tail or grep commands, uh, if you're looking for something, specific terms in your logs, ganyan. Um, there's also tap command para malaman mo kung ano yung processes na mas malakas na gumagamit sa server mo. There's also locate command, kung meron ka talagang uh, file na hindi mo alam yung specific location, uh, you can use locate command to find that specific file. So, maraming commands na makakatulong sa'yo for debugging and fixing an issue. Uh, you just have to be familiarized with them. And mas madaling, mas madali mong mariresolve yung issue. Another reason is that being confident in using bash commands will make you confident in, in learning new technologies. Most of the technologies nowadays are command line centric. So, if, if you are a modern developer, it's very important that you get comfortable with command line interface. For example, kung gagamit ka ng version controls like Git, Subversion, Mercurial. Although, meron namang mga plugins or tools na or mga clients na pwede mong gamitin for Git. Pero, mas importante pa rin na alam mo yung, ano, alam mo yung commands. Ano ba yung nangyayari upon clicking the button? Uh, package managers or dependency managers like NPM, Composer, Yarn, for example. Tapos, build tools such as Gulp, uh, Grant, Webpack, etc. Yung mga languages also and mga frameworks that will require you to have depth understanding of um, performing commands. For example, uh, Python, Node.js, uh, React.js, AngularJS, uh, even Laravel, may si Laravel, kailangan mo rin ng mga mag-perform ng commands like PHP, Artisan, Tinker, very useful. And you do that using the command line interface. Um, di lang yan, syempre, kahit yung installation of software mo, installation of development tools, is installation of extensions, mga ganyan. Ma-install mo rin siya gamit ang command line interface. Last on my list for the top reason is that you cannot be a web developer forever. Yes. Um, time will come, you'll have to step up. Uh, you will have to become full stack. You will have to become uh, familiar with DevOps tasks. And lahat ng yun, uh, 
even full stack developer or DevOps, talagang they move in command line interface. And it's very important that you get used to it. You get used to using it. Yun. So those are just the top reasons why it's very important to be comfortable in using the command line interface, the bash shell. So that's it for this video guys. Thank you for watching and siguro sa susunod kong video, I will share with you some of the commands that I mostly use at work. So stay tuned and thank you again for watching and I hope I'll see you on my next one. Bye-bye!